Hi everyone. So the other night I couldn't sleep and that's really rare for me because I fixed my sleep problems about a year ago and sleep really well. Anyway, I randomly came across a Gabby Bernstein 21 day manifesting challenge. And I thought, you know what? Why not? I've got nothing to lose and so much to gain by doing this. In fact, I'm fascinated by manifestation. It's something I really believe in and I believe I've managed to manifest lots of incredible things around me. But at the same time, I'm also really scared of that power. So this is a great opportunity to learn more about manifesting and maybe how to do it in a more powerful or more effective way. So this is my vlog over the next 21 days, sharing with you everything that I learn, do, and experience from doing this 21 day challenge. Happy New Year, which also means it's day one of this manifesting challenge. Now, I was a little bit worried a couple of days ago because I just didn't have any, I guess, goal or intention or purpose behind this challenge. But last night I was walking the dogs and thinking about this and it just hit me. I got my intention. So I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling motivated. I feel like I've got a great sense of direction. Now I am going to completely surrender to this experience and process and I'm going to open myself up to whatever lies ahead, whatever lessons I need to learn, wisdom I need to gain, whatever you know experience is in front of me. Now that is peppy that sound. I was just saying waiting to go for a walk so I'm going to put the audio program in whilst walking the dogs and lit the manifesting magic begin. Happy New Year, baby. I listened to audio one for day one and I just turned around and discovered there are all these people swimming naked over here. How liberating. I guess you could say a new awareness has just been born Every morning I listen to money affirmations. It really helps reframe my mindset, particularly if I'm feeling a bit, I guess, frustrated in life. Anyway, this morning I listened to a slightly different affirmation and I found myself walking with so much more intention, confidence and joy. I had my shoulders back. I had my head up high. I was like striding instead of walking. And I just feel like I'm stepping into a totally different space of confidence and ownership that I haven't experienced before. So day two was a really challenging day. It was my own inner block and it was all about turning when you're in a negative, low vibration, sad state and how to flip it into a high vibration, positive state. I had to listen to the audio program about three or four times. So when I did it, and got it, I felt a huge shift. And it's all about acknowledging those negative sad beliefs to help you uncover or reveal what you don't want so that you can then discover what you do want. So again, really powerful. And last night I had the most incredible dream where I was asked to host a TV show, which is really random, but I definitely wanna get back into my TV work for 2023, so. Who knows what's going on in the universe right now? All right, so I'm just about to head to the gym and do some exercise. Since doing this program, I have really looked at my energy and where I need to be both mentally, spiritually, and physically. And I really just for this period really wanna try and maximize every single opportunity that I get to do some exercise. So operating a high vibration state from a high vibration body. So something really random just happened. I just got paid. Um, a nice chunk of money which I'm donating to charity. Um, it I didn't even realize it would have been paid because uh, the notification of payment ended up in my junk mailbox. But um, it's such a nice feeling because I had this on my list as to someone I wanted to donate money to, and now I can pretty much tick that box off. And I've now cleared the space on my list for something new to, um, I guess, pay for or manifest or build or attract or, or even simply buy. Wow.
So I've just done the day four audio program and this is so my thing. I, I feel like what I've just learned is really powerful and is going to contribute towards a really big shift in my manifesting work. So this is what I've learned. <sighs> okay, breathe. <laughs> um, when I'm in the zone of my manifestation and just like feeling this movement and this momentum, I need to that's great and really powerful, but I need to think I'm not in the zone or in the flow, but I'm actually part of the flow or the zone. That is, we are one. I'm not an individual in something. I am an individual that is actually connected and part of that flow, that zone. Even just that mindset shift, I can feel in my body is so different and so incredibly powerful. Also, yesterday afternoon, I... I'm going to be doing a small job, which I'm really excited to do because it's with a brand that I've been wanting to work with for a really long time. And they've actually agreed to the terms and conditions that I wanted. So this is again, another big shift and it's not, it's already day, only just day, well, we yesterday was day three, now it's day four. Where is this going? I'm excited, but I'm completely and utterly on board and surrendering and open to everything that's happening. I feel like I've had like 20,000 coffees this morning. So I bought Gabby Bernstein's book about three and a half years ago. Whatever reason, I have this huge block around picking it up and reading it. But now that I'm doing her 21 day program and I can see how incredibly powerful it is and how much oh, I'm loving, how much I'm learning from doing this, I have finally picked this up and I'm loving this book as well. I can resonate with so much that she talks about here and about misusing or forgetting your power. And I feel like in reading this in combination of doing the 21 day challenge, I'm going to have another shift and breakthrough and learn even more and dive even deeper with this stuff. Good morning, everyone. I have just done the work this morning for day eight, and it was a beautiful uh, piece of work, which was really interesting. And it's about signs. Now, I've always believed in signs. It's something I've been doing for years and years, particularly when I am doing, going through a hard time, a challenging time. I say to the universe, give me a sign that everything's gonna be okay. And this is my sign. Whenever I do this, Shortly after I've asked for a sign from the universe, a car will drive past me or be in front of me um, or overtake me um, or be coming towards me with my number, with the, on the number plate, my initials CC. And on top of that, it will never just be a normal car. It will always be, oh my goodness. <laughs> it will always be a luxurious car. And it's always right. Everything ends up being eventually in some form, okay, I end up being okay. Now that's not to say that I like swim through easily challenges um, and obstacles and fears in my life and even traumas in my life. I, um, you know, I, I, but it's that element of faith is incredibly important and I never connected science with manifesting work, but Gabby Bernstein is right. What signs do is they give you an amazingly important injection of faith that we all need in our universe to try and live our best lives. Isn't that right, Pippi? She's now still. Just when I am finishing my vlog and explaining it, she then sits still. Day nine is about releasing and surrendering and burying anything that you're not aligned to. So I have written on this piece of paper what it is and I'm going to release it. I'm going to burn it like in a safe way. Don't worry. I can't believe I'm doing this. And I know that this is for my higher good. Actually feels really powerful. <laughs> Woo! Fuck. <laughs> mm. Shit. <laughs> Stop.
still burning though. It, uh, I think the universe really wanted me to let go of this stuff. Wow, that's powerful. It is literally burnt exactly where it needed to burn of the exact things I am out of alignment with. Like, I've written... I actually had one thing I wasn't, well, I was in alignment too, but I was just had to let go of a certain element of alignment and it's kept that word. And all the other stuff that came out that I am not in alignment to has burnt. Like, but it's kept what I meant to have kept. Wow. So I am on holiday on the Gold Coast for the next couple of days, but I bought all my Gabby Bernstein notes so I could still do the program. And in fact, I've realized I'm loving doing this every single morning that I think even when the program finishes, I'll probably continue on with a lot of the different elements and lessons and habits and principles from this program going forward because it really does set your day up for a totally different outcome. You know, it looks at your visions, your intentions, your habits, your thoughts, your feelings, and I think only good can come from doing this if I can incorporate on a regular basis. Day 12, I've hit a brick wall hard, doing my non-negotiables. I just, nothing is gonna flow. Nothing is flowing, I should say. Something might flow. I'm stuck and I'm procrastinating. This is a problem. And if you're wondering what is on my t-shirt, it's a combination of Asiya, coffee, and strawberry jam, and more coffee. And it's not even 9 a.m. Welcome to my mum life. We have results. We have massive results. This is incredible. Part of my desire statement was to see where my podcast with go are going and really just surrendering and see what happens. Now, the podcast I have, one is called Sugar Mama's Fire Play and the other one is called How Do They Afford That? And my co-host, Michael Thompson, just messaged me. Um, we are number three in the world for Apple podcasts across all educational podcasts. Number one is Mel Robbins. Number two is Jordan Peterson. And number three is little old how do they afford that that has only been going since October which is literally four months ago actually technically less than that like holy crap I've actually had to cross check this about a thousand times because I'm I feel like it can't be right it can't be true like how do we did we get to that position and amongst Mel Robbins and Jordan Peterson like so I have just done my vision board for 2023. I haven't done a vision board. Well, I used to do vision cards, which I kept in my wallet for like 15, 16, 17 years. And I have to say, since doing this, I feel so good and I can't stop staring at it. I'm so excited about what this year holds for me and what I'm going to create, manifest, and just simply Get done. Are you excited about 2023? Hmm? 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 We're gonna go on a holiday. We're gonna renovate the house. Buy a nice handbag. Whoa. Oh yeah. How about this for a sign? I'm listening to Gabby Bernstein's program on driftwood and Peppy literally finds some driftwood. Now we're listening to Joy and Driftwood. Literally a sign. Day 16, this has gone by so quickly and it has actually been so effortless. Um, I'm actually a little bit sad that it's actually coming to an end soon in literally five days, but I've learned so much. Anyway, this morning is all about work, like focusing on what's actually thriving in your life. If what you're trying to manifest isn't there yet, 
Focus upon other things that have shown up in your life. Now, initially, when I listened to the program, I was stumped. I didn't really feel anything there. I was like, oh, okay. Um, anyway, I went back to the worksheet and reread that and got a piece of paper and a pen and just filled out so many things in my life that actually are working and thriving. And it's literally, as I wrote one, another one immediately came out onto the page. And I wrote that down, then another one immediately flowed. Like it was just the most fluid experience. I'm realizing, actually, I am manifesting. I'm manifesting everything that I'm really trying to manifest more of. And it was a really beautiful reminder and a wake-up call and I guess almost a sign. It's my own driftwood to show that I'm on the right path and what I'm doing is actually working. This is really embarrassing to admit, but I have managed to manifest some new shoes. When I first started, or actually just before I started this challenge, I jokingly said to myself, well, if this manifesting challenge with Gabby Bernstein works, I will successfully maybe manifest the Birkenstock shoes that I really wanted for a really long time. And I kind of was like a bit of a laugh throwaway comment that I said to myself. Anyway, I manifested them. And not only did I manifest them, I manifested them at about 33% less. It was really weird. I had this feeling, whenever I tried to buy these shoes ages ago, I could never find them in my size. And also the price was outrageously expensive and they didn't have the color that I wanted. Anyway, the other day I was just sitting there, I was like, it just suddenly hit me. I was like, go and have a look for these shoes. See if you can find them. And not only did I find them in the right color and in my size, I also found them at about $100 or just maybe under or over $100 cheaper. And so here they are. Tom hates them. He thinks they look horrendous and hideous like a mammoth's shoe, which is why I'll be wearing them more often. They're my manifesting shoes. So I've been regularly sharing my experience on my Instagram account at Canna Campbell official about this and sharing the fears and the blocks and the challenges and what are things I've done to help push through those things. Anyway, I had someone reach out to me and ask me if I could do some one-on-one -on -one money mindset and manifestation coaching. And so I said, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And from this, I've decided to launch a second, I guess, another level of service offering within my sugar mama business. If this goes well, which the feedback is amazing from this particular person, I'm actually gonna be looking to offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, potentially a workshop and potentially, sorry, that's Peppy, an online, um, I guess, self-guided tour to help people work on their money mindset and on their manifesting techniques. And using the ones that I've been using, essentially, since I was actually a little girl. Now, I also want to point out in launching this program, I had zero intention, real, like I've been thinking about doing this for a really long time, but I'm not some, someone who's particularly confident about my manifestation um, skills, but I've been using manifestation since I was a little girl. So by no means am I trying to be Gabby Bernstein because I'm not even nearly at that level, but I'm happy and comfortable to share the things that help me and I use um, and also share the techniques that have helped me work through challenging and tough and that sometimes frightening times. So I'm not trying to be Gabby. Gabby's amazing. Um, I'm not nearly at that level. It would be cool to be at that level though. Day 17, all about calling upon your guides to give you signs, give you messages, give you wisdom to help you on your path. Now there's beautiful meditation for this exercise and I felt myself really drifting off and just really relaxed and in this like zen-like headspace state. However, I didn't feel any messages come through to me. However, I felt the presence of guides. I felt a guide that I know has been with me for a long time and always there on my left side, just gently holding my shoulder and touching my back. And then a couple of minutes into it, I felt another one um, on the other side, um, again, that's also regularly around me. And then I felt the presence of multiple guides behind me, almost like a, a team. I finished up the meditation and then I picked my, um, I picked my pen up. I can't even really talk about this. And I found there was no messages being passed to me. But what was happening is 
I was writing to my guides. I was saying thank you for everything and showing my gratitude and appreciation. And then just as the four minute timer was about to go off, I then felt a kick and a flow. And I felt this sense of, I guess, confirming or validation that I'm on the right path. Everything that I'm doing is working and everything is actually already happening behind the scenes. All the things I'm, tr I'm wanting to manifest and create and attract is actually already happened and it's already on its way. That was, that, that I don't know, I've got like a headache. It's like, I feel a bit woozy actually from doing this. But, um, and then it just suddenly stopped. So, wow. Um, I want to do this again because I feel like there's lots to explore for me and I've never done this before. Even though I've called upon guides and especially in frightening times and stressful times in my life, but I've never had this experience before and I'm really struggling to articulate myself right now. Day 18, all about service, which kind of falls in alignment with my money mindset and manifesting coaching idea. The universe works in freaky ways, beautiful ways and special ways, of course. Day 18, and apologies that the vlog is again coming from my bed, but I'm finding that I am having the most amazing breakthroughs and enlightenments is when I do this from a place where I'm feeling comfortable and safe, which for me is my bed. Now, day 18 is a very valuable one, a very, very important one that I feel like everyone should be really focusing on on this particular day. And it's about manifesting abundance, but learning to give. She says three very powerful things. We are supported when we are supportive. Love creates more flow. Service creates more alignment. I couldn't agree with this more. It, when I look at my own growth with Sugar Mama TV and I look at my own personal wealth and abundance and prosperity, I would even go as far as saying that wealth has flown and flourished since starting Sugar Mama TV. And that makes a lot of sense because Sugar Mama TV is all about financial education, about giving financial education, giving financial empowerment, giving financial inspiration, really just wholeheartedly and freely giving off all this information to help people all around the world, no matter what financial situation this is in. So this is in complete alignment to, to what I think, but also what I have seen and personally experienced in my own life. She also goes on to say something, which again, I have had this come up in my own personal life many times, and that is to get out of your story. When we can, we can so easily, and I'm guilty of this, falling into victim mode and replaying our story of sadness, of pain, of trauma, of neglect. And when we do this, we remain stuck there. And a great way of getting out of that place is to go and give back, go and help someone else. Because when we go and help someone else, we listen to what they're going, going through or have been through or trying to get out of, and we realize that we're not alone and that we actually step into a place of empowerment. And when we step into a place of empowerment, our vibration levels just dramatically increase. So if you guys are doing this, day 18 is a really powerful one. Let me know what you think, or let me know what you thought of day 18 if you did this program. So you know how I told you that our podcast, how do they afford that, was number three in the world across all educational podcasts with Apple. And I almost like didn't really believe it. Well, guess what? It's kind of happened. It's not right. We're now number two in the world. Holy, holy crap. And Michael thinks we might even be able to get to number one. Like, whoa, whoa. Like, this is just a new, fresh podcast. I don't even think we've done 20 episodes yet. Holy crap. This is really happening. <laughs> Day 20. Wow, this is almost over. Um, I just did the most incredible meditation for this day, and it's all about surrendering. Initially, I had a bit of a block around this, and I had to listen to the audio program twice. But I get it now. I think initially I thought surrendering was like giving up or like letting go giving up. But it's not. It's about handing over your trust and faith to the universe 
to take care of what is best for you and what is going to serve your most authentic and highest well-being that it can have a flow on effect to everyone around you and letting go so that the universe can let the right plan and adventure and journey unfold for you so I feel like a huge weight is off my shoulders from doing this meditation it's quite inc incredible like I completely zoned out <laughs> wow Day 21 and this morning, so weird, I had this um, feeling that I needed to write, that I needed to take my notes with me whilst doing 21 day 21 work. And I was like, oh no, obviously, why would I take all my notes to the park with walking the dogs? Anyway, I walk out of my bedroom and on the ground is a pen. So I picked up the pen, I have my notes, and I'm gonna do day 21 walking my dogs next to the ocean. Alright, first of all, I'd like to just let you know I'm actually really proud of doing this challenge. I learned so much. So this, I guess, final clip of my vlog, I want to just quickly touch on the things that I learned, the important things that I learned from doing this challenge. Now, I will be publishing a more in-depth podcast uh, on my podcast channel, Sugar Mama's Fire Plate, this coming Monday. But in the meantime, I just wanted to give you this little, I guess, insight on YouTube as to what I learned. All right, so the first thing is I learned how to surrender. This was really important to me because I can at times be a massive control freak. The next thing is, and I think this is probably the most important thing for me, is I learned, I guess, no, I didn't learn. I refound my sense of faith and trust, which is something that I had been, I guess, feeling very vulnerable and fragile over around for the last couple of years. I also learned a really cool, I guess, little mantra, what's become my mantra, and that is, or better. This reminds me not to put any self-imposed limitations on me that whilst I might want to manifest something, the universe might actually have an even better plan for me. And I should obviously surrender to that, but know that this is, there's something actually better, maybe even way better. So my new mantra deep down is, or way better. And then also, I feel like I have just, I guess, unleashed and kickstarted something really big in my life. I feel like I'm stepping into a new space and the best is yet to come and something that I is going to happen or is happening already where I'm never going to look back. There is a new path unfolding in front of me and I'm already going down that path and embracing this journey. So would I recommend so would I recommend doing this 21 day manifesting challenge? You better believe it.